Yes, things have certainly been tough in the pickup artistry game, especially after some questioning from authorities. But fear not, where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, I'm nervous about this one. I shouldn't be. This date tonight was very forward in her text messaging. There's been a lot of sex chat going on, so it's pretty much a done deal. I told him I was running late, and then I'd had a few glasses of champers just to level out a little. Oh, I gotta say, I love a girl who has a few drinks prior to having a few drinks on a date. It means she's more willing to overlook flaws, be overly flirtatious, and ultimately make some very bad decisions. A sharp dresser, easy on the eye. He works in emergency aid and has a side hustle app that assists in rehoming rescue animals. I mean, is that the total package or what? So, this saucy little minx I'm meeting tonight has completely bought into my occupation in my profile. I find it's always good to throw in some passionate sounding hobbies as well. He seems well read. Do Tinder bios count as reading? He loves international cinema. I'm a huge fan of German and Japanese bukkake films. And he also said he's skilled in other languages. I'm fluent in dick pic. To be honest, with a profile sounding this good, it requires further investigation. Jesus fucking H. She's smoking for a pisshead. I would tear that ass apart like garlic bread. Ah, huh. well dressed, warm and friendly demeanor. So far so good. This is all too easy. Okay, I'm going in. Oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> your heels. <laughs> Classy entrance. Oh, well, as long as you're okay, it's a perfectly fine entrance. <laughs> and we'll both be making a swift exit soon, methinks. <sighs> uh, Nina? Liam? Yeah, please. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Took ages. The Uber driver got so lost. Not really. I'm always late. I like to keep a date waiting. Oh, that's totally okay. I know. Uber drivers are the worst. Right. Probably got locked in our own closet for an hour. Uh, I took the liberty of getting us some drinks. <gasps> Espresso Marty. Thank you. Yeah, the sure. Best. No worries. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, Espresso Martinis are the best. Amazing. Yeah, so amazing. <laughs> Fucking amazing. God, I could um, I could smash another one. Fuck it, he's paying. <laughs> now, we're navigating some fragile terrain here. She's already off her tits and we don't want to pass out situation on her hands. That's no good for anyone. Now, come on, I do have some morals. What I find the best thing to do in this situation is, is get a couple of mocktails, non-alcoholic beverages into her system. That way she stands on her feet, not, not on, on her, her ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 look who it is, everybody. It's your old pal, bartender Ben. Say hi to the people, Ben. Hi, people. <laughs> As you can see, Ben's moved on from the old eel and the oyster. That's hey? right, mate. They were fucking onto us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Uh, as you can see, this is much better digs. Damn, business is booming. Yes, it certainly is. And speaking of which, um, would you mind getting us two espresso martinis? Uh, hold the booze, double the cafe. Category seven on your hands already, mate. <laughs> mate, you know it. All right, I got you, big fella. Good luck. You know I don't believe in luck. So you sure you want another one? Yeah. Hello. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, scared God. me. Didn't mean to frighten you. <gasps> More drinks for the table. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, two more of these martini thingies, uh, two shots of tequila. Whoa. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> I do like to have a few. Puts it out at ease and um, makes him feel less threatened, you know? Plus, if he's paying, bring it on. Let's get two shots of spineless cactus tequila and, uh, yeah, two more espresso martinis. <laughs> Absolutely. Coming right up. Here we go. Boring small talk. So, how's work? Oh, you know, the usual. Just keeping silly corporate men in line. <laughs> I really do love my job. Sounds intriguing. By that I mean boring. But what about you? Your job sounds, like, really important. Do you want to talk more about it? or And starting bullshit detector now. Um, well, it's nice of you to say, but really it's just specialising in finding meaningful work for women who are displaced by the fallout of war. <sighs> If men could only just look at their immature ego games and see what they're doing for the world, it, it, the world would be a better place, you know? Wow. Wow. But my real passion is in my animal rehoming app. It's Rough Rough Rescue. <laughs> when I was stationed in Af Afghanistan, my dog Bella, she was the only thing that pulled me through all the hard times, you know? Oh. Watch this. Her life was taken by a landmine in 08. Oh, no. I owe it to Bella to give the gift of animal companionship to the world. I'm... I'm so sorry. 
I'd like to thank the Academy, but most of all myself, in uh, receiving this prestigious award and sexually suggestive hand grab. I'll be celebrating tonight by performing sex acts that defy gravity. Thank you. Uh, that is so beautiful. Sorry, which organisation did you say you were working for again? Shit, I forgot what name I gave her. Hello! Here's your espresso martinis Ooh. and two tequila shots. Oh. Thank you! You gotta love the man's timing. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Woo! Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Um, can I get you anything else? A water, perhaps? Oh. Or? God, no. <laughs> uh, oh, we're okay, thanks, mate. We're fine. Okay. Well, if you need anything, give us a holler. Thank you. Isn't he great? Oh my god, he is the best! <laughs> Sorry, what were we, um, talking about? I... <laughs> oh, you were telling me about, uh, your work. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I've been working for this company for, like... Mm -hmm. This is the part where I pretend to be interested, and I just listen to all the psycho-babbling that's going on about... Ooh, and just occasionally jump in with, like, a, an interested mmm or a, a intrigued ah. And I, I just keep... I thinking we could take this upstairs. I'm sorry. What? Uh, yeah. Upstairs, I've booked us a suite on the ninth floor. Beautiful views. We could just take this party up there. You know what I mean? A little ahead of schedule, but okay. Uh, as long as you're okay with that, that sounds fun. Yeah, of course. He's cute, smooth and sophisticated. Always a bonus. Shall I chuck that on the room, mate? <laughs> yeah, sure, mate. You can charge it to the room. <laughs> I really do love his work. <laughs> Holy shit! This place is huge! This girl must have some coin, because fucked if I'm paying for this shit. So, what are you into? I'm into most things. <laughs> Fucking everything. Good. This could be fun. Holy shit! Frosty one. So, what'd you have in... Shh. I ask the questions, you answer. I might marry this girl. <laughs> so, before we get started, let's discuss payment. I'm sorry? Here we go. Yeah, payment for my services. <laughs> what services? This? Start pretending with me. Oh shit. We discuss business first. Are you a prosy? <laughs> oh fuck! I'm a professional dominatrix, you asshole. Don't get that confused. I told you that after we matched on Tinder. Yeah, pretty standard. And then I asked what you were into, and you said. Kinky shit. And here we are. Yeah, but you never said I was gonna have to pay. My profile picture wearing full leather with a whip in my hand. Just thought that's what you wore, so. <laughs> my profile literally says pay to play. Right under the link to my OnlyFans, did you miss that? Uh, yeah, I did. You know what? I can't pay. Never have, never will. In fact, there was that one time in Amsterdam. Well, we're in quite the predicament then, aren't we? Because the drinks, the room, and my services are due to be paid. Yeah, well, I can't pay, because guess what? I'm broke, and the drinks were free anyway, so... Oh, really? That bartender a friend of yours? What is this, some kind of pathetic little pickup racket you've got going on? Caught myself quite the fly, haven't I? <laughs> no. Oh shit, don't worry, play it cool, I can get out of this. Look, this is clearly some miscommunication, so we're just... Here's the thing. If you can't pay me in cash, you're going to have to pay me in pain. We don't have to do that. Joke's on her, I fucking love this shit. <laughs> ah! Holy fucking shit! I really do love my job. Who? Who? That's... That's... Oh, it's not... Oh, holy shit!